Now, I mentioned this before, but when I first saw this story, I, I was over at a site called, um, it's JWJ. Uh, it's, a, uh, it's a workers' solidarity site. When I saw this story at first, I thought, there's no way. There's absolutely no way this is, this is true. It was telling the story of, uh, this is Jobs with, that, with Justice. It's, a, uh, it's an organization that supports workers. And when I saw this story, I said, there's just absolutely, this, this has to be like a joke by the onion. But no, on August 17th, hundreds of student guest workers, they come over, they're in their, for, their, their home countries, whether it's, um, I mean, it's, they seem to be coming from all across the globe, frankly. Uh, they scrape up anywhere from three to $4,000 to get into the State Department J-1 visa program told that this is going to be a cultural exchange. You're going to uh, work and live and hang out uh, and meet Americans. And what a great opportunity. I mean, Americans in this, uh, American students do the same thing. They go to foreign countries, uh, same type of programs. They're coming for the summer. I guess they paid between three and $6,000. And on August 17th, they struck because they basically were inserted into a packing plant, a Hershey's packing plant, where their jobs were to lift boxes, pack Reese's candies, Kit Kats, Almond Joys, all, who knows, all the Hershey's whatchamacallits, and on a, on a fast-moving production line. These boxes are very heavy. These boxes are very heavy for a girl. My first day was horrible. Every two seconds, you just pick the box, another box, and it's not stopping. It's 15 kilograms, and I take it and take, take, take. You have to be fast. You are doing this all the time. They don't care if you are small, you don't have the power, you didn't eat, they just care about their production. My back hurts, my eyes hurt, my wrists hurt. I want to be a surgeon and I have to use my hands and what happens if something happens to my aunt? They had automatic weekly deductions from their pay for rent in company housing and other expenses. They netted somewhere between $40 and $140 per 40-hour week. hours of work. I'm supposed to get 334. What do I have? $130.15, which if you calculate is less than $5 an hour. I'll be in debt for sure. We're cheap workers. We're captive workers. That's all they can see us. Machines. The jobs these student workers are doing used to be good jobs. Jobs that came with a contract and with rights and respect. That comes out to uh, one to about three dollars and a quarter per hour. Welcome to America! And so these guys struck in uh, Hershey's uh, at the Hershey's plant. It's really impressive. And then they got uh, all sorts of uh, support from local workers. If this, these were union jobs that you guys were working, I would take that job. What you guys are doing is courageous, like standing up for yourselves. You're setting an example for so many people. First off, not only is it stunning, and I guess, you know, and we've talked about this many times, there's a bunch of subcontractors involved in placing them. A bunch of subcontractors. And, you know, these people, they don't care, they don't care about anything. They're all set up just to basically make money 
and they don't care about any of it. And so you have a program here which basically hires uh, slave labor. These kids can't go anywhere. They're losing money. They're paying three to $6,000. They're actually losing money uh, from the work that they do. They're paying for the opportunity to work in a factory for 40 hours a week over the summer. And on top of that, they're taking jobs from people who live in Pennsylvania. Those are 400 jobs that should be paid at not slave wages. And so they've struck. Hershey's, of course, is saying that we did not directly operate the, uh, the Paul Myra plant. It's managed by a company called XL. XL is managed by a company, uh, you said it found the uh, student workers through another staffing program. And uh, the National Guest Worker Alliance presented a complaint on Wednesday to the State Department asking for the Council for Educational Travel to be removed from the list of sponsoring organizations. This Council for Educational Travel, apparently, is just basically like a uh, sort of a slave labor temp work uh, agency. So we'll post uh, more videos up on uh, Majority FM, but good for these workers. I hope, I hope the idea of striking catches on. And sometimes it takes kids from China, Nigeria, Romania, Ukraine, and so on uh, to remind Americans that people have power. You need to exercise it.